Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Today we're going to take a look at one of John Browning's prototype slide action rifles. This one is an 1895 design and was patented, but never went into production. The action is basically a pump action or a slide action. I'm going to bring the camera forward now and we'll have a closer look. And then I'll discuss some of the history behind the rifle and why it wasn't adopted or produced by Winchester. By 1895, Winchester had been considering a slide action rifle for some time. In 1882, William Mason had begun work on one to counter Colt slide action lightning, only for it to be dropped by the company. Finally, in 1890, Winchester introduced a slide action 22 caliber rifle developed by John Browning. The Model 1890 would become extremely popular. Between 1887 and 1895, Browning patented four slide action rifle designs. The first of these was granted in July 1887, and another followed in 1888. In September 1890, the Browning brothers were granted another patent, which along with the previous 1888 patent, protected what became the Model 1890. Three years later, Winchester introduced the Model 1893 pump-action shotgun, that would eventually evolve into the famous Model 1897. Finally, in April 1895, Browning filed a patent for a design for a 30 caliber rifle, which was granted in September 1895. This patent covered the rifle we're examining here. The rifle itself is a slide or pump action in a long barreled configuration, which Winchester typically described as a musket. The September 1895 slide action design was purchased by Winchester, but like so many other Browning designs, it never entered production, and Winchester purchased the design purely to secure it and prevent other rival manufacturers from picking it up. Instead, Winchester went with a lever action design Browning patented in November 1895, which became the famous Winchester Model 1895. The September 1895 slide action rifle design had a laterally camming locking breech block. As we can see, externally Browning's tool room prototype looks somewhat similar to the contemporary Model 1895 with a single stack integrated box magazine, but with a pump or slide rather than a lever. An action bar connects the slide or pump to the front of the breech block on the right side of the rifle. The slide handle itself is made of a U-shaped piece of metal which wraps around the rifle's forend. The surface of the slide handle has been roughly cross-hatched to improve grip. There is a channel cut into the furniture for the action arm's attachment point to travel forwards and backwards and the slide is attached to the arm by a pair of screws. Browning developed this prototype to allow loading of the magazine from below rather than the top of the receiver. He added a hinged floor plate with a spring-loaded follower that allowed loose rounds to be dropped into the magazine and then closed. As we open the magazine, pivoting the cover plate down, we see that the carrier, which acts as the magazine's follower, flips down against the cover plate to allow loading. The rifle was designed to allow loading from below with the bolt forward, not requiring the action to be cycled. In the patent description, Browning explained that his aim was to improve breech-loading box magazine-fed firearms by designing a simple, compact, strong, highly effective and safe gun containing comparatively few parts and constructed with a particular reference to the provision of charging the box magazine with cartridges from the bottom of the frame while the breech bolt is in the closed position so that the arm may be charged without operating its action mechanism or disturbing the cartridge in the gun barrel, if one is there. From the original pattern drawings we can see the flat spring which acted on the carrier, running below the barrel, ahead of the magazine. Inside the magazine are a pair of what Browning refers to as spring fingers. These act on the cartridges inside the magazine and keep them properly aligned, seen here in figure 7 of the patent. In figure 8 we can see what Browning calls a box-like guideway, which guided the rims of the cartridges, preventing the cartridges from being displaced while being fed upwards. The rifle's breech block locked into a recess in the left side of the receiver, tilting at an angle with the rear of the breech block canting to the left. When the pump handle was pulled rearwards, the breech bolt cammed laterally to unlock the action. It then extracted and ejected any spent case, and when the slide was returned forward, a new cartridge was picked up from the magazine, chambered, and the breech block locked again ready to fire. The rifle's hammer was cocked by the rearward movement of the breech block. The model is in the white, 
and while externally the machining and toolwork is very neat, internally we can see where the cuts in the receiver wall have been made more crudely. In terms of design, the slide action prototype was certainly simpler and had fewer working parts than the Model 1895 lever action. As I mentioned earlier, this design never went into production at Winchester, and the rifle we're examining here appears to be either a pattern model or a proof of concept. The prototype was previously part of the Winchester Firearms Collection, which is now a part of the Cody Firearms Museum. Excuse this brief interruption guys, I just wanted to ask you to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss future videos. We need all the help we can get to overcome YouTube's algorithms, so please drop us a like and if you have any questions about the video, please leave us a comment and we'll happily answer them. This all helps new people discover our videos. Similarly, as I always say, please share the videos with friends. Tab owes many of our viewers to those who share the videos on social media, in forums, and with anyone who might be interested. Tab is an entirely viewer supported project, so if you'd like to support the channel further, check out the links in the description box below. And don't forget to follow us over on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Externally, the slide actions receiver looks similar to that of the production Model 1895, but internally they are very different. The action is certainly less open than the Model 1895, but the lateral locking mechanism is less robust. In terms of safeties, there is a half cock notch on the hammer, and the patent also describes a safety lock mounted in the arm, which locks the slide when it's in its closed position. The safety lock locked the slide in the forward position with the action closed, and the slide couldn't be unlocked until the rifle was either fired or the hammer decocked. Our special thanks to the Cody Firearms Museum at the Buffalo Bill Center of the West for allowing us to take a look at this one of a kind rifle. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my full article for more photographs over on thearmorersbench.com. You can also support the channel through Patreon, and you can find a link to that in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.